taking some of your valuable time to join us. Do you find yourself feeling tired all the time? Or how about colds? Do you find yourself getting them often? Do you want to increase your energy levels? If so, you are going to be excited about this presentation because we are going to reveal a breakthrough that can boost your health, increase your energy, and dramatically improve how good you look and feel. In fact, in just a few short weeks, you'll be more focused, your productivity will soar, and over the long term, you'll live a healthier and happier life with fewer immune-related problems. It all started with the research of Dr. Walter J. Crinian, who is considered by many to be the world's leading researcher in environmental medicine. Dr. Crinian is a professor at Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine and an associate professor at the world-famous Bastyr University. Three times he appeared with Barbara Walters on ABC's The View. He has published numerous articles in peer-reviewed journals and is the author of the widely acclaimed book, Clean, Green, and Lean. Dr. Crinian is also the head of Mitogenics Scientific Advisory Board, and it is his years of clinical research with real patients that has resulted in the Mitogenics nutraceutical grade of wellness formulas. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Crinian, a naturopathic physician. I've been in private practice and have specialized in working with people who are chronically ill because they have a burden in their body of environmental toxic overload. Our medicine is based on principles, and one of the principles is tole causum, or treat the cause. What I've come to find over my years in practice is that many of the old standby remedies, the vitamins, the minerals, the botanical agents that worked for me very wonderfully when I started my practice back in the early 80s, didn't work so well after a while. I began to ask myself, what is going on with these individuals and why am I having so much trouble getting these chronically ill patients on the road to health? And then I began to think that maybe it's not the nutrients they're deficient in, but environmental toxins in their body that have been building up over years that's causing their ill health. Now there are over 80,000 chemicals registered for daily use with the Environmental Protection Agency. There are now chemicals in our food, our air, and our water. There are prescription medications in our water supply. You can get all the estrogen, nitroglycerin, and caffeine you need typically from drinking city water. Well, you might have heard the phrase, you are what you eat, but you're not only that, you're also what you breathe and what you drink, and that is toxic. The United States Center for Disease Control has been doing ongoing studies that have been trying to estimate the burden of toxins that's in the average person in the United States. And you can get those studies by going to cdc.gov. Now, one of the most extensive studies to date was not done by the CDC, but is available through Environmental Working Group. They have a wonderful website, ewg.org. What they did is they took individuals who were not exposed. These are the average run-of-the-mill adult. They had different occupations. And they tested these individuals for 210 different toxic compounds. Of those 210, 167 toxins were found. The average load of toxins in each person was 91. Now, one of their new studies was looking at newborns born in the United States of America, and they have found an average of 200 toxic chemicals in the cord blood of newborns in this country. So our babies, our children, are starting out with a burden of toxins that are damaging to their immune system, to their neurologic system, and their hormonal system that they're exposed to as those systems are just starting to be Formed. Is it any wonder then why we have so many chronic health problems? The baby boomer generation has been documented to have higher rates of cancer than any previous generation. Right now we are having an increase throughout our country of childhood brain cancers. Asthma rates are rising worldwide. 
Autism and ADHD rates are increasing. Diabetes is becoming pandemic. These problems are just mushrooming in our country, and they are problems that are associated with the same environmental toxins that we have documented to be in everybody. So are you toxic? Well, the answer is yes. The question is not if you're toxic or if I'm toxic. The question is, are the toxins in your body causing you health problems, and are they obstacles to you achieving the level of health that you want? Now, where do these toxins come from? Well, you're exposed to them every day talking about eating food. If you go to the Environmental Working Group's website, then they will show you the 12 most toxic fruits and vegetables. So if you're consuming any of those on a regular basis, you have a lot of pesticide coming into your body. Probably the most toxic food anyone could consume at this time is farmed salmon. Farmed salmon, if you go to a restaurant and the menu says salmon, and it does not say Alaskan, or wild Pacific, it is farmed. If it says Atlantic salmon, it's farm salmon. The Environmental Protection Agency says that you should have no more than one meal of farm salmon per month, and that's based on cancer risk. And one of the really scary things is that in studies around the planet, looking at women who eat salmon and they have a certain PCB level in their blood, their children that are born when they're eating the salmon have lower IQ and enhanced behavioral problems. Translated, they're not as smart and they're hyperactive. Now, once these toxins are in the body, what problems do they cause? Well, they have three major targets. The immune system, the nervous system, and your hormonal system. So the immune system is what helps you protect you from diseases, from infections. The nervous system is how well your brain works, you know, messages to your muscles, um, how well you can see, think, and all that. And hormonal system, well, the hormones is what gives juice to life. Um, you know, the thyroid, the adrenals, the other hormone systems is really what helps you um, get all the enjoyment out of life that you can. There are a number of illnesses that are also associated with environmental burden, and that's chemical sensitivity, which is... Chemical sensitivity is where individuals get adverse physical, mental, or emotional symptoms when they're exposed to levels of chemicals that the rest of us can smell and not be bothered. Chemical sensitive patients might get headaches or have what's called brain fog. That's where you have trouble thinking and reasoning. Just by walking down the soap aisle in the grocery store, or by being in an elevator with someone who's got perfume on or following a diesel truck down the road. That's uh, an illness that is associated with environmental chemical over overload or burden in your body. There's sick building syndrome, which is very similar to chemical sensitivity, chronic fatigue and chronic fatigue immune deficiency syndrome, Gulf War syndrome, and I think we should add fibromyalgia in there, and certain cancers are very associated with it as well. So what's the solution?